Back with Democratic presidential candidate Dean Phillips, a, a three-term member of Congress from Minnesota, who is the only one who has really had the guts in the mainstream Democratic establishment to challenge uh, President Biden uh, for the 2024 election. And he's been with us for the hour. Uh, so Joe Biden now facing an impeachment inquiry from the House. They formalized it last week. What do you make of that decision, and how do you think it impacts his campaign? It's sickening, and it's repulsive. I, once we start weaponizing impeachment as a political tactic in Congress, which is what's happening right now, uh, we're really in trouble. And I've not seen a, even an iota of evidence that would make an inquiry even reasonable. So you think this is very different from the situation with Donald Trump? Because you yeah. know many people on the right say they started it, yeah. they're the ones who lowered the bar. Let me, let me be forthright. The first impeachment of Donald Trump, I understand if you saw a little bit of nuance in there. I understand that. The second one, when he inspired an attack on the United States Capitol, I watched the speech. I was in the House. I watched them come down the way. I was there. I heard the gunshot. I saw the aftermath. My goodness, Dan, if that is not an impeachable offense in the United States of America, I do not know what is. That was not a political game. Did you By the way, 10 Republicans, 10 Republicans in the House had the courage to fulfill their obligation to the Constitution and voted to impeach him that time. This, there is not a shred of evidence. They are trying to find something. By the way, this is Hunter Biden and maybe the president's brother. I mean, they appear not to be very ethical people. That's fair. I think that's totally fair, but they're not the president of the United States, and I think what they're doing right now is shameful. By the way, we don't even have a budget, Dan. We've got a crisis in Ukraine, a crisis in the Middle East. We have a crisis at our southern border. And you know what we voted on this week? An impeachment inquiry uh, and whether whole milk should be sold in schools. For goodness sakes, this is not. Did you, you mentioned the first impeachment yeah. of President Trump. Did you vote against that one? I voted for it because I do believe there was a quid pro quo. I thought it was wrong, and I think the American president and, should but never. To, to the level of impeaching him, removing I, him from office? At that point, because at that point in, in time, Dan, to me that was one of the most egregious ethical lapses of American president, certainly in my lifetime, since uh, at least Richard Nixon. So the answer is, at that time, yes. But what he did the second time was so clear-cut, it was caught on tape. We saw it, and we've seen evidence since. My goodness, that was appalling, and he should have been removed. And by the way, had Republicans had the courage to do what was right then, and by the way, they all talked about it differently, quietly, before the vote, if they had done the right thing then, they wouldn't be facing his return right now, and our country would be in better shape, and that is what's so shameful. Politically, how do you think this plays out for Not Joe well, Biden? Really, you think it hurts him? Because there's some people who are gonna, saying it's going to backfire on Republicans. Do you think it's going to hurt President yeah. Biden? Mo most Americans don't pay a whole lot of attention to the news. What they'll see is that the president, an impeachment inquiry was opened into President Biden. That's all they'll know. They won't do the due diligence. They won't do the, uh, the research. That's all they'll hear. And many will probably say, you know, Trump's a little corrupt, and so is the current president, which is not fair, because I don't believe Joe Biden is corrupt. And by the way, if there is evidence, Dan, very sincerely, if I see something that warrants further investigation, darn right, it's my responsibility to be honest uh, and regarding politics, set it aside, and I will do so. But right now, I've not seen any at all. Take one more break. We've got your questions and comments for Dean Phillips coming up. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.